Hi everyone, welcome back to 50 something budgets. I'm going to do my cash stuffing today for the first week of June. Um, so most of it is going into sinking funds or into savings challenges. There isn't much at all going into variable expenses because I'm going to change my system a bit this week. Um, but the first thing I need to do is I'm going to empty what's in my Sapiano from last week. So I've got a few bits of change and a little bit of money left over. So we'll deal with this first. So let's have a look. So um, I had, if you remember, set quite a big budget for um, miscellaneous because I was travelling with work. I had um, a flight and two taxis and what have you. And he only spent about just under £4 um, on a snack. DME, the price of a bottle of water. It's £2 for uh, the smallest bottle of water you could get. Ridiculous. Um, at the airport. And I also bought some stamps to post cards for my dad because it was his birthday. Um, so I, put, um, I think I put aside, I think I had £60 in that budget and I've got most of it left. And then I've got lots of change. And then I've got a bit of money in back to bank there at the back as well okay so let's sort all this out so i've got two three four five six seven eight to go my tropical challenge i've got 50 70 50 70 90 one pound 10 20 six to go in Pammy the Penny Pot. And then I have 20, 40, 60, 65, 7, 75. Can I, it's early in the morning today. <laughs> I don't think I've woke up yet. I haven't finished my first cup of tea. Um, 20, 40, 60, 75. Okay. So we'll put that there. Um, so the £60 of that, I think I've got another fiver somewhere, if you bear with me. I'm going to put, um, let me see if I can find this other fiver. Yeah, so there we go. So I'm going to take that 10, 15, 20 and I'm going to swap it for a £20 note. Because I'm going to put that in my um, £20 challenge towards our holiday. So let's do the coins first into the tropical challenge called tropical because it's the design at the back. So what did I say I had? Was it eight pounds? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we will do uh, four, five, six, seven, eight pound. So I should only have, I think, 25 um, pound left to do to finish that one and that once it's finished was originally going to go towards our summer holiday um, but because we are short in July due to my husband changing jobs then um, we're going to put that towards the money that we need for July um, and then what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to take the 20, 30, 40, 50 pound from the budget planner challenge for me. Put that to one side. And I'm also going to redo this one. So spring was completed last month. So we're going to put that one aside. And then I'm going to take that money out as well, which is 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 110, 20. Put that with that 50 pound over here. There we go. And then what we'll do is we'll move summer into there, ready for when we cash stuff for the first week of June. Okay, so we'll take the £80, 20, 40, 60, £80 from last week. And I'm going to add that to this £20 savings challenge. I've got, feels like I've got piles of money all over it while I'm trying to sort everything out. So we'll just move that 
over there. So £80 on this one to try and get the colours right. Um, so that one's not had the peachy colour. That one's not had a yellow. There we go. Pink one for the next one. So that's the 60. And then what colour do we want for that one? Green. There. So we should have 100, 200, 300, 460 altogether. 480 altogether. Dear me, I am half asleep, aren't I? 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80. 480. Okay, so 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 80, 480. And that is towards our camping fees and then a bit towards the fuel um, for our camping holiday in August. So that's that bit done. And then I'll put this money into Pammy Penny Pot, covered in dust as she is. So it'll give us a total. I think the total's a bit off, um, but it'll be what it is at the end of the year. So I found using my change in this way, doing the tropical challenge for the pounds and the two pound coins, and then just putting everything else in here, much more motivated and satisfying how much have i got 28 pound and three then when i do the penny challenge i feel like i've made loads more progress but when i add up what i do you know maybe what i've got in there in the, and doing the tropical twice this year i probably will have, have made a bit more money saved a bit more than i did last year but it's i just feel like i'm accomplishing more doing it that way okay so this is the money I took out of the Spring Challenge and the May's Planner Challenge. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So that 170 is going in the, to the pot of money that we are putting aside for July when my husband isn't going to get paid from his new job just due to the time he starts. So, 170, wasn't it? I had 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 120 was for spring. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we are. So, 170 so far. Okay. So, we'll put that. Let's dry it off a bit. Put that back in there and then we'll add some more to that when I do the cash stuffing. There we go. Squeeze it in. There we are. Right, so let's cash stuff week one of June. So this is £395. So I'll just count it and I'll get my tray in. So I've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, oops, 80, 85, 90, 95. So 395 pound. That isn't the right one. Let's pop that in the tray. Okay, so I've also got in here a £500 placeholder. So I'll deal with that first. So what I've done is I've transferred £500 from our current account into our emergency fund savings account in Chase. So I've just taken the money sort of out of our budget um, so that it's ring-fenced for going towards the shortfall in July. Um, so now my husband has just said, oh, I think I might need more spending money this month. And I'm thinking, oh, heck, that's going to mess up my budget. 
because he thinks he's got another social event happening as near the end of the month. Um, so I need to hang on to as much money as I can. So we are going to do um, 400. So we're going to do 100 down here, 200, 300, 400. Then I'm going to do one, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So 670 of the money that we need. So I think I think I could get away with about 870, 800 pound, sorry for the um, July. But we'll just see how much we can squirrel away into here. So I'm going to have the 500 pound, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So we've got 670 pound of it already. So let's hope I come back with a bit from my holidays and then I can, uh, well, most of the holiday money that I'm taking is my personal spending money, but there is a little bit that is still from the account. So that can go in there, 670. Like that is the fullest I think that emergency fund tracker has been this year. Which is why we're trying to scrabble around for money now because we've never concentrated on filling our emergency fund. School girl error. Okay, so first thing I want to do is put some money aside for our spending money for the month. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 is my husband's. So I shall give that to him. And then 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 is mine for the month. And that will go in my personal savings binder. So I've got my money in there today, which is what I saved in the splurge challenge, um, which is my, I think it's 240. I spent 20 on it on a new set of highlighters because when I start doing the conscious or in preparation for doing the um i will teach you to be rich conscious spending plan i am recategorizing um some of my expenditure so i've got the 260 in there and then i'm going to put this 100 in so it's all getting added together um because i will be buying a couple of holiday holiday items i went in the loft and got all of my um summer stuff out that i had and i was so pleased i found about three or four bikinis in there that i hadn't used for um a few years probably since the last girls holiday i went on and i thought oh my god fantastic they've hardly been worn put them on couldn't wear them i think me um they wouldn't have covered my rear end so <laughs> i don't think i've got that much bigger or they've shrunk it's just um i'm a bit older now and i don't think i would feel comfortable wearing them Okay, so in my personal money here, I've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 80, 93, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40. So 3, 40. That's right. So I'm just going to put that in there because I'm going to take it out with me um, today. So my, I'm going into the city with my husband who's having his hair cut. And I'm going to get a couple of bits while I'm there and then he's out tomorrow. So I think I'm going to go and do the rest of my, you know, toiletry shopping and what have you and get my euros. Um, I'm going to go somewhere else tomorrow and get that. So there we go. That's that one bit done. Um, so I'm then going to use these. So I used to use these. Uh, I started off with a few um, envelopes in a binder and then I went to these which sit in my um, purse. So I've got this old mulberry purse that I use and they fit really nicely in there. Um, so I'm going back to these. It's because I'm doing a lot of my variable spending in cash. Uh, sorry, in on card at the minute because I get, I'm getting a Tesco's order. Our fuel goes through the card. Um, most of the money I put aside for my son's school meals and his bus fare. So his school meals gets put aside, uh, goes through the card and then I just cash flow the um, bus fare so there's not really a lot to go in my envelopes um, and I am thinking of putting toiletries household and um, food together as a budget as well so 
I'm going to need less envelopes. So I'm just going to, for June, I'm just going to put my Safiano to one side and use this purse. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to put in is £20 for um, eating out. So that is going to be, um, what did I say? I'm going to put two tens in. And that's just for me, my husband, to have some breakfast this morning. Don't tell my son. <laughs> I'm going to have a quick breakfast before um, he goes for his haircut. And then miscellaneous is getting 15. So that can go in that one. Do that the right way around. I'll do it like that and then I know what I've got. I don't like creasing them too much, but they'll probably get squashed in my purse. So that's miscellaneous. And these little envelopes are from the aesthetic budget. I've had them a long time. Um, food, I'm not putting anything in. And family fun, it's not getting anything. And I think I've got a household and toiletries one. So they just slip into there. There we go. Is that done? Okay, so the rest of the money um, is for sinking funds and savings challenges. So I'm going to put... Um, £20 into my um, son's account, which I think was £20 like that. I'll probably get all my denominations wrong. So he's got in there now 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. We are in the process of opening a new bank account, um, but I've had to order a new birth certificate because I just cannot find where on earth the other one is. Um, it'll be somewhere, but where? I don't know. So I thought just easier, order another one. It only takes four days. Um, and then I can go and open that, him that account because he's got three checks from family members for his birthday. And you rooster, you can't pay in checks. So I think we're moving him to a, um, a young person account at a high street bank. Okay, so that's that one done. I'm just checking my little list to see if there's anything else. No, that was it for um, sinking funds. Because we've cut down on the amount of sinking funds because of um, putting that big £500 away to cover July. So I'm going to do the planner challenge, which for June is these lovely flowers. And I'm going to put £10 in there. So we will do... Um, oops, shaking a bit. Five, ten. I got a lovely bouquet of flowers when I was um, recovering from my operation from work. They were beautiful, really big, bright and bold. Um, what am I looking for? Savings challenges is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to put the £10 in here. Ooh, and yes, I have, I'm just thinking then, did I cross May off the back? But I have. Um, so £10 in the monthly budget challenge. And then I'm going to start summer. Um so I'm not going to put much in here in June and July. There's going to have to be a lot going in August. Um, but I just wanted to do something so that I um, felt like I was making some progress. Um, so I'm going to do the watermelon. It's not quite the watermelon colour, that, is it? <laughs> I was thinking it was going to be more pinky. There we go. And we'll have to have a little bit of green for the rind. I do like these challenges because they're just a little bit of money every month. And then it soon adds up to your 120. So I keep headbutting the stand today. Um, so we'll put five, ten pound in there. So that's that one started. I'm going to best put spring back in here though. I do need to wipe it off. There we go. So that's everything in the... Oh, no, it's not. I've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. And that is going in here. Into... Not leave any money behind. Into this £20 savings challenge. And I love this challenge. It was a, um, a freebie that the Queen Bee makes sent me when I bought two um, inserts. So which ones did I get? I got personal savings, which is that one. And I also got 
um, home savings um, for my big six challenge. And then she sent me this one, and it's a really lovely challenge. I've really enjoyed doing it actually. And um, I think that she does a ten pound one and a five pound one as well. So if I'll put that one twenty with the rest of the money. So we should have 600. Now, I've just got to remember, haven't I, which colours I need to use to try and keep in the right um, order. But I think I've run out of uh, colours and I'm going to start again now. So um, we will do, when I find it, peachy colour for the top. And then we do glue on that one. I'm all over my circles. Yellow for that one. I'm just repeating the top line of colours. Pale green for this one. And pink for the last one. There we go. So I should have in that challenge £600 and as I mentioned before that is for our campsite fees which are 389 and then the rest of it so the other 211 is going towards our spending money so I originally my big six wanted to save £1,500 for camping um, spending money so we had quite a generous budget um, to do some activities and things but I'm going to reduce that I think I'll probably end up with about 1200 so i was going to have 1500 pound in there and then the 200 pound towards fuel so about 1700 and i think i'm going to have about 1200 overall which is still a massive budget um but we will be spending two to 300 pounds on fuel so it does bring it down to maybe around about 100 pound a day um for food and activities and what have you so there we go that's the plan. So it will be a smaller bonus, a smaller budget than what we originally planned. So I should have £600 in here. So 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83. 20, 40, 60, 84. 20, 40, 60, 85. 20, 40, 60, 80. £600. Woohoo! That is fab. And I've always got that money. If we do find that we need to cover more, if my husband's salary in July is less than I've estimated it will be because he won't get his new jobs money until the end of July and not the beginning of June to cover July, then I've always got that money to fall back on um, as well. So I'm just going to keep it in there, I think, for the minute. Um it might actually get put in the bank at some point okay so there we go that's us all new challenges for june started hopefully we should have that one finished in a couple of weeks um so yeah really pleased with that to get that 600 pound one done so quite quickly really um so thank you very much if you've got to the end of the video thanks so much for watching and thanks for hanging about and watching my videos in um April and May when I was posting a lot less because I did get a little bit of payout from YouTube but you've got me over the threshold um so that was is what has helped me put that towards that challenge as well so thank you so much for everybody who takes the time to watch my videos so go and enjoy your uh bank holiday weekend in this beautiful sunshine um and I hope to speak to you soon thanks now bye bye